Hey guys, what's up? So, you know, I wasn't even planning on making this video. This is kind of just off the cuff, you know, on a whim, essentially. Um, but I've been noticing a, a trend uh, in the last year or so. Last year, year and a half, maybe even two years, arguably. Um, where these uh, political YouTubers, former political YouTubers, uh, most of them still currently, but um, this trend of you know, these YouTubers who really didn't have strong beliefs or principles or, you know, strongly held opinions to begin with, most likely, um, changing their, just doing a complete 180 on a lot of the things they believe in, um, and then turning around and saying that they grew up or they've changed or that they, you know, they had so many sh uh, shitty, bad, um, reactionary takes, that's the popular word, reactionary takes, um, even though, like, like a lot of the same uh, political YouTubers, lefties is what it is, you know, these lefties who use the term reactionary, even though they do the same thing, just on the other side of the, of the political aisle, but whatever. Um, and what sparked me to want to do this is because uh, I'm sure that a lot of you remember Monday, Matt, yeah, you know, boulders, boulders, you know, all the, all the boulder collecting, rock collecting, Monday, Matt, that one. Um, I came across this video randomly, um, and it was this stream, and these guys were doing this reaction video to, uh, a video that Matt apparently had done at some point, I had, like, sometime earlier this year, I think, on Joss Whedon or, or whatever, um, and he started talking about Gamergate at one point, um, and at one point he spoke, like, scornfully about it and said, oh, you know, there was a bunch of this anti-SJW shit involved with it and whatnot, um, and he was speaking, like, he was speaking down to it, he was speaking, like, you know, critically of it, like, scornfully of it, and it's like, you realize that you're calling yourself out there, right, Matt? You realize that you're speaking scornfully of yourself, like, you were part of the anti-SJW bullshit, in, in Gamergate, you were one of one of the ones. I mean, there were a bunch of others. To, be, to tell you the truth, I'm not like terribly familiar with Gamergate. I know it involved like the whole Anita Sarkeesian shit and all that stuff. I haven't really, you know, took taken the time to learn all the ins and outs of it. But I know that like mundane Matt, Shoe on Head, um, like Sargon, and a, a bunch of other people were involved. Um, but yeah, I heard, I heard this, I was watching the stream, and I heard Matt say that, and I'm just like, what is it with these political YouTubers who, like, do, just do a complete 180 reverse on their beliefs all of a sudden? They go from being, you know, someone who, you know, has a set, you know, a, a set system of, of opinions and beliefs, but then within the span of, like, you know, what seems like not that much time at all, they just completely reverse themselves, it's just like this trend, and, and, and the thing that I can't stand about it the most is this self-righteous, smug, just, just holier-than-thou attitude that they get, you know, when they decide to change their beliefs. A perfect example of this is Hunter Avalon. Hunter Avalon was a pretty popular, you know, kind of center-right, you know, moderate right-winger, you know, throughout the years. I've heard people say he was far-right. Hunter was never far right, honestly. Like, if you think that Hunter was far right, then, I mean, you, you need to, I mean, you, you need to, like, look at some of the actual far right people, you know, like Mike Enoch and those types of people, you know, on the far, far right. Um, Hunter was always this kind of, you know, basic anti-SJW channel. Um, uh, but in, like, 2019, like, early 2019, um, and he, he was one of these basic anti-SJW channels that didn't really go on to depth on a lot of issues, you know, looking back. I, unfortunately, I'm, I hate to say it, was a fan of him. I'm not, I'm not that's not, I'm not proud of, of saying that. Not because I'm ashamed or that I, I'm embarrassed by the opinions that he used to have. It's just that I didn't see him for what he was to begin with, and I'm kind of ashamed of myself for that, quite frankly. But it is what it is. But he, he was one of these basic anti-SJW channels who didn't really go into depth on a lot of the issues that he talked about. And so when he actually got confronted and had to debate someone of actual merit who wasn't just some, you know, like lensless, pink-haired feminist, SJW, whatever, um, a.k.a. Vosh, um, 
he floundered completely. Like he got completely, by all accounts, he got completely uh, wrecked. And that's, that's, a, that's a pretty cliche word, but I mean, that's really the best word for it, you know. Um, and, you know, he claims that it's not the only thing that changed his worldview, but it was a combination of things. But, but you know, and then like within a year, he like, he changes like not completely he doesn't do a complete 180 um but within the span of like a year a year and a half he like just that's the point when the 180 spin is almost basically complete like he goes from being this you know self-proclaimed you know conservative ish person that's right moderate right wing more like center right honestly um to like Basically, the thing, the thing that he made fun of, you know, all along, essentially. Now, he claims to be a centrist now, but anyways, I could do a whole other video on Hunter Avalon, but you, you get the idea, right? Like, Hunter Avalon is a perfect example. Like, you know, he's talked about how he's, his, his, his the few fans that he has left anyways, um, always talking about, oh, my Hunter's evolved so much, he's grown up so much, and, um, He's repairing the damage that he's done. That's my favorite one, um, and all this stuff. And again, it's just this 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 arrogant, smug, condescending, just bullshit. You know, it's like no Hunter didn't evolve or change at all. He just he just you know switched from one side to the other. He's still the same. He's still the same that he, as he always was. He's nothing about him really has changed. It's just his belief set. You know, he got he got challenged, you know, by someone of actual substance, and I hate to say that because I fucking hate Vosh, but I mean, you know, he is somewhat of substance anyways. Um, and, yeah, I mean, he, he, he just, he switched his belief system. It just proves that he didn't have strong-held beliefs and opinions to begin with. You know, same thing with, like, Shoe on Head. She was, Shoe on Head, you know, again, really big, you know, giant SJ, anti-SJW channel, I should uh, excuse me anti-SJW, anti-feminist channel for years and years and years. And the thing with Hunter and Shu is that by, by like, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, marketing towards those groups, I, there's another term I want to use, but I forget at the moment, but appealing, that's the word I was looking for, by appealing to, you know, anti-SJWs and proclaiming, you know, all these anti-SJW beliefs and whatnot, they were able to, to grow this large following, you know, with Shoe on Head having, you know, over a million subscribers. Um, Hunter, at the time, I think before he announced that he was leaving the right, um, he had amassed like 670,000 subscribers. Um, and then they, and then like when they turn around, they... Again, they say that they that they grew up or that they changed or whatever. And then the, th the thing that I really don't like is that they they project their own experience onto others. Okay, they make it seem like they're um, everyone who watched them in their anti SJW days were just like them. That they were just you know spouting you know again reactionary beliefs you know like they were. When, no, that's not the case. Like, just because that was your experience doesn't mean that's everyone else's experience. A lot of people actually have strong, strongly held principles. A lot of people actually have, you know, convictions. It's not anyone else's fault that you guys don't and will just change, you know, on a whim when you actually get challenged by someone of, of you know, somewhat, again, substance, you know. That doesn't, it, your experience does not reflect everyone else's experiences. Um, and I just, I can't, I can't stand that, this, this, again, just, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's this, this smug, self-righteous attitude um, around this topic. Uh, the Amazing Atheist is another one that, you know, is another one recently that, that, you know, the same thing. You know, I mean, back in the day, like in 2000, in the early, like 2007, 08, 09, 2010, 2010, I think he did more of like the, you know, atheist versus Christian thing, you know, that whole, those, those days of the, of YouTube, like a decade ago, like forever ago, it seems like. But then he kind of switched to doing, you know, again, the anti-feminist, anti-SJW content. And the thing about TJ was that he was always like a free speech absolutist. I mean, he stood up for free speech, like, like all free speech, like not just popular speech, but actual free speech. You know, he was against people, you know, 
in the far left and in the far right getting censored, getting their platform, you know, on YouTube or wherever else taken away. And that's, that's what he stood for for years, you know, or supposedly stood for. And now, like, really, really recently, like within the last week, he makes a video proposing that we have a, basically a ministry of truth, a fact-checking administration, a team of scientists, you know, basically have the government decide what is disinfo and what isn't, because that can't go wrong at all, because scientists aren't human beings who, you know, totally can't be bribed or, you know, corrupt or anything like that, you know, totally not. And again, it's the same thing with TJ. Oh, I was I was immature. I was this and that, you know. But he's 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 grown up now, you know. He's he's mature. He's he's moved past all the all the reactionary takes that he used to have, you know. It, it just it's 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 garbage. It's it's so tiresome, you know. It's like just because you guys didn't like didn't have strongly held principles doesn't mean that everyone else doesn't. It doesn't mean that your former audience members didn't. Like, maybe some of them also will just change with the winds like you guys, but a lot of them, a lot of them won't. A lot, you know, a lot, they agreed with a lot of the things that you guys used to say. That's why they subscribed to your channel, because they identified with what you were saying. Like, stop projecting your own experience onto all your other fans. And then, you know, another thing that really, that really annoys me, when they turn around, they vilify their former audience. They vilify and scorn their former audience. Like, instead of, instead of saying, you know, hey, look, you know, I used to have these opinions, but I no longer agree with them. But if you do, that's perfectly fine. You know, I just, you know, whatever. No, they'll literally shit on the very people that got them to where they were. Like, you look at Hunter. Shits on conservatives all the time now despite the fact that they were literally the ones that got him to where he was today. He wouldn't even, no one would know who he was without those same conservative right-wing anti-SJW audience that he um, appealed to, you know, to get him where he is today. Same thing with Shoe on Head. There was this whole leaked Discord conversation about her talking begrudgingly about her, you know, anti-SJW audience, about how she resents them. Because she's now a, you know, a, le a full-on lefty, a socialist, you know, because she's been hanging around with Vosh a bunch, you know. And I'm sure you'd find the same thing with, like, you know, the mundane Matt, the, the um, amazing atheist. You know, and there's also, like, you know, it even extends to, like, you know, there was some, like, trans YouTubers like Calvin Guerra, Storm Ryan... Um, you know, a few others who also used to be like, you know, anti-SJW, who were kind of like the counterbalance towards people like Cat Black and um, Cat Black, Riley Dennis, you know, and other other you know people like that in the in the um, uh, you know trans YouTuber whatever thing. Um, and then they they did the same thing. They're 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 lefties now too. They they basically they completely sold out on everything they used to believe in, everything they proclaimed to believe in, you know, for for years and years. You know, now they've bowed down to the mob. You know, and oh, I'm sorry for all the harm, all the harm that I caused, and all the all the bad takes. You know, bad takes. You know, reactionary takes that I had. You know, it's just it's pathetic. It's just pathetic. It makes me want to vomit. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up with this, okay? I understand that people can, can change their minds. I understand that people, as they grow up, they can indeed change their minds. It happens with people all the time. Like, you know, as people grow, they just change. That's just a fact of life, you know? And who knows? Maybe some of these people actually have, you know, changed their beliefs genuinely. It's not just some, you know, it's not just because they either are just going with the wind, you know, with what's popular, like some of them do, or because others, you know, just didn't have strong principles to begin with, which is, which is mostly what I'm criticizing. I'm not going at them for changing. It sounds like I'm going at them for changing their beliefs, simply, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm just, you know, criticizing, I guess, some flimsy reasoning, some, you know... The, the, again, the smug, shitty, you know, uh, arrogant attitudes surrounding this topic. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, like, again, people can change, people can grow, but with a lot of these people that I've mentioned, I suspect that it's not actually because of any real change or growth, to be honest. Um, and also just calling out some, some, I don't know if you, if the hypocrisy is the word you'd use for it, but just calling out the fact again that these people who, I guess the criticism I'm trying to give is you shouldn't shit on the hand that feeds you or that, or at least that used to feed you. Okay. Again, you know, with, with shoe on head, Hunter Avalone, the amazing atheist, um, uh, well, not Matt, Monday Matt at this point, not really anymore, but, and, you know, with a few others, like, these people that you, that you appealed to for years and years and years are the reason why you have got the, why you've even got an audience in the first place and why you're even known on the internet, like, to begin with. It's why, like, all of you have been able to live cushy, you know, relaxed lifestyles. You know, which, look, I mean, look, you earned it. I, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't begrudge you that, but I'm just saying, like, you know, I mean, it's kind of shitty to, to, you know, appeal to a certain audience for years and years and years, and then when you have no need of them anymore, you turn around and shit on them when they're the ones that got you to where you were in the first place, so maybe just be a little more humble. That's all I'm saying. Anyways... I'm thinking I'm going to end it here. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, I just think this is, a, it's just a really irritating thing. It's like, you know, if you've changed, it's fine. But like, stop saying that if you have to say they have or imply that you have constantly, you probably haven't. It's like that Tywin Lannister quote from Game of Thrones. I don't know exactly how it goes, but it's like, no one who must say they're the, no one, like, if you must say you're the king, then you're not really the king. It's, it's, that's not the exact quote. I'm probably butchering it badly, but you, you, you probably all know the quote that I'm talking about. But anyways, that's it for this one. Peace and have a good day.